All right, guys, we're here at Formnext 2023, and we're going to check out the latest offerings from Sintrit, the professional SLS that any business can afford. This is the Lisa. This is their original machine. It's really where they started, what many of you may have seen before, and it's really intended for educational purposes. It's got a smaller build volume. It's got you know, multiple materials, flexibles, and a PA12 smooth, but it doesn't have the nitrogen chamber like the Lisa Pro, so you're more limited, but it's very affordable. So if you want to get into SLS 3D printing, this could be your start. Here we have the Lisa Pro. Now you've seen us do a lot of videos on this one already. It does include the nitrogen chamber, which enables their entire portfolio of materials. For materials like PA11, you have to have nitrogen, an inert gas environment in there because it will oxidize at high temperatures over a lot of time. So it's really important for PA11 and other materials to have that nitrogen. Now you can do PA12, you can do PA11, the flexibles, the TPE, and a bunch of other materials, even polypropylene on this machine. Now it is their original laser gantry design, so it's not as fast as the Lisa X, which we're about to check out right now, but it's a very, very capable machine. So for prototyping or for small volume runs or getting into industrial SLS at a lower price point, this is an excellent option. This is the Lisa X. This is the star of the show. This is really what a vision miner we're all about because not only does it have the entire gamut of materials with the nitrogen chamber, you can do all these different materials, but it's fast. They finally came out with a Galvo based laser system, which means it takes a matter of seconds to center an entire layer of powder, making this a production ready machine. You can do an entire build volume in 24 hours. That really makes a huge difference because if you're doing parts or prototyping, that means you can put a part in and start a print and have your prototype or your part or your end use part in the morning the next day. Now that's a really big deal. Like all their other offerings, the Lisa X is completely open material system. You can run any powder in here that you want. They open in the Studio Advanced software. You can change all the different parameters so you can put any powder you want. They're even working with recycled MJF HP powder and that really is a big advantage on this machine. So it's a lot bigger, you can fit more parts in it and you can print super fast. That brings me right along to the powder handling station, which is really the core of their systems. No matter which printer you have, you're dealing with polymer powder. So it can get messy, it goes all over the place, and you have to be able to clean the parts, post-process them, and then get them out and out to your customers. So this is really a full system for doing that. And this, of course, is the legendary Nils 480. This is the true industrial scale SLS solution from Center, available at visionminer.com. Just reach out if you got questions. But the main key component about this machine is that it's designed to print continuously for 30 days on end. It automatically removes the powder cake and reloads itself and continues printing. The same parts or different parts, what have you. So it's truly for the production environment. Now this will be available in early 2024, but it's, I mean, it's a full on system. You've got the industrial industry 4.0 features. I forgot to mention this on the Lisa X, on the Nils, on their machines, you have industry 4.0 API. So you can connect this in to your industrial systems at your workshop immediately out of the box. You can get it integrated into your workflow with E. So let's just take a look at this thing. First off over here, this is an incredible, just wild system going on over here. Inside here, you've got the build volume, right? And then you've got the recoder. So this is gonna take the powder, feed it out through here into the bed, and then it's gonna take any overflow and push it across all the way over there. And then here, obviously, you have all kinds of heaters and different things that support the process. Cause this is, you gotta keep this thing hot right next to its melting point before you hit it with the laser for it all to work. So. Very cool to see all this. So that goes down like that and it has a viewport so you can still look at what you're doing. And then of course, this thing comes down and closes it all in. So this is what it looks like when it's in your shop. You see the antenna up there, Industry 4.0. Over here, you've got basically uh, a system where you pull out the other case. Now, it's much bigger than the rest and so is the build volume. So this is about the size head for scale of what you can get off of a Nils. Again, right now they're doing beta testing in Europe. So if you're interested, you can reach out to us, but reach out directly either way. 
and this will be available in the US sometime in 2024. So if you're interested, we can get the process started now. Just give us a call, shoot us an email. We're here to help. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see the other videos we have on the Citrus Solutions and the materials video that we also shot here earlier today, then check out our YouTube channel, subscribe, post a comment down below if you want us to do a crazy project or you have questions. We're here to help you guys and make cool content. So thanks so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.